And anti-mining group recognizes the government's efforts in reforming mining policy in the country, but says the newly signed executive order seems to ignore the effects of existing mining activities. Patricia Onchako tells us more. Aliansang Tigil Mina gives credit to the government for its effort to push mining reforms but stresses the provisions in Executive Order 79 do not apply to existing mining projects. Alianza says the government has only committed to reviewing 33 mining operations in the country. The anti-mining group explains the moratorium on mining should also include operations proven to be destructive to the environment or in violation of human rights. Sabi ng Commission on Human Rights, we have evidence that Oceana Gold violated seven human rights of the indigenous peoples and the communities. And, and they officially recommended to the President, i-revoke ang mining contract ng Oceana Gold. Former Environment Secretary Lito Atienza says the EO offers a temporary solution. At least, he says, the order answers many objections. He explains that until a law on mining is passed, EO 79 ensures mining permits will not be issued for new projects and that the country will gain from all the tax reforms. Kulang na kulang talaga yung 1% excise tax. An industry association has also welcomed government's effort to improve its policy on mining. The Chamber of Mines of the Philippines is willing to comply with the new mining policy and open consultations for a fair and reasonable increase in excise taxes. Patricia Ong Shako, Solar News.